everyone, my name is Megan. I use they them pronouns and we're back at today with another art therapy um, directive. I'm really excited to get into this one. Um, yeah, so we'll be doing a tree directive today and that's all I'm going to give you for a hint right now. I'm just going to go over quickly some materials that you'll need for um, this directive and then we can get right into it. So, you know that was a brief start, but yeah, I just want to jump right in. So we're going to have a water cup and today we're going to be using watercolors. So here's my watercolors. I can open it to show you. So, you know, just standard and like if you have just a set of one, that's fine. And you can always mix some colors. I like to mix them over here. And what else you'll need is some just blank paper. Again, I'm using one out of like a spiral notebook that's a mixed media paper. So it holds a little bit better for watercolor. I wouldn't suggest printer paper for watercolor just because it will um, like bleed through and kind of get your whole paper soaked. So if you can find a nice like thicker, uh, sturdier kind of edge and hefty paper, that would be really, really good. Again, this is what mine looks like, just a Canson XL mixed media palette. So that just means you can use um, uh, acrylic, watercolor, or pen and pencil. So a nice range of different things for, for just one notebook, which is nice. And then I just have a mechanical pencil just to sketch things out and a pen just in case I need it. And then I just have some paint brushes on the side here. And, you know, maybe having a bigger one and a smaller one. And I have like lots of little like detailed ones so I can really get in there. But again, maybe you need like just a few to get like a good range. Um, or maybe you just work with one. Maybe I'll do that. Um, yeah, maybe one or two just to do like maybe a bigger one for like background and a smaller one for like details. So, yeah, I think that's all we need um materials wise so i'm gonna go ahead and present the directive so i briefly mentioned before um something about tree so if you're new to the art therapy process i again just want to quickly um kind of talk about what art therapy is in regards to um how it's different than you know art you usually do in like an art classroom with an art teacher um, yeah, what is the difference? Uh, so art therapy or, you know, therapeutic art, stuff like that is done um, with an art therapist and it is for the process of things. I like to think of it as like, um, yeah, just finding the process to be enjoyable instead of just looking at the product. And a lot of times in art or um, what we see in a museum or in art classes are typically um, <clears throat> geared towards more of that art as a product and what does it look like in the end and can we frame it and like you know it has to look a certain way and follow certain rules so art therapy is um, kind of the opposite of that if you can think like in terms of um, in terms of that way it's a little different it's more about the process and I think you'll kind of get a hang of it and kind of see what I'm talking about just as I do it, but I just wanted to briefly kind of um, point out the differences, the main differences, um, really briefly, like super brief, you know, I studied four years <laughs> on art therapy, so super, super brief, um, yeah, just dipping our toes into it, seeing how it feels, trying, trying a different hat on today, um, so yeah, I'm proud of you for doing that. And, you know, just try your best. There's no right, there's no wrong, just like I'll probably say again. Um, yeah. And if you have any questions, be sure to, like, pop them below and I'll try to answer them for you guys. For you people. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so, yeah. Back to the tree. What is this tree I'm talking about? So, we're going to be drawing a tree today. Or painting, rather. Paint, draw. A little bit of both. And... We're gonna look at the root system, the trunk, and the branches. 
and then the leaves. So kind of like a three part deal, roots, tree, branches, and then leaves. And I want to focus on different areas as we go through those different parts of the tree. So looking at the roots, what keeps you grounded in this, in this you know, crazy COVID time, a pandemic, when you're in the house all the time, maybe you're alone, maybe you're with family members. Um, yeah, you just see them every day and it's not a lot of social interaction. Yeah, just, um, yeah. And if that's your experience, that's valid. And maybe, you know, you're interpreting that and feeling that differently and that's totally, totally valid. Um, so yeah, just tapping into like kind of present moment, what's coming up for you and, you know, what is your world look like right now? How is it shaping you? How are you shaping your world? And yeah, just in this time, what is keeping you personally grounded, rooted, tethered, you know, held down to the earth? Really? Yeah. <laughs> so that's going to be the root system. And then moving up the trunk or slash branches. I want to do them like a combination kind of. So trunk branches, and that's going to be, you know, areas of growth. So what are you growing through? What are you working on? Maybe you picked up some new hobbies and, you know, you're growing. You're like a tree. You're growing. And that's really exciting. So I want to highlight, you know, your areas of growth. And then you can have either leaves or maybe even fruit if it's a fruit bearing tree. And I want you to kind of think about their hopes for the future. What are you um, blossoming? What are you growing? What is what are you bearing? You know, is it fruit? And what what is that? So, um, yeah, I know it's kind of like a lot to think about, but I promise as soon as we get get going, I just want to you know give a really solid um, description so we kind of know where we're headed. So yeah, roots what keeps you grounded, and then trunk and trees, tree branches, areas of growth, and then leaves or fruit, hopes for the future. And I was just looking at my little note, if you're like, why are they looking down so much? Better my little note here. <laughs> um, <clears throat> yeah, so that's that. And oh, I just want to say really quickly as well, you can do any kind of tree. You can do um, a pear tree, a uh, apple tree, you know, if you want to do kind of like those fruit trees, you could do, uh, honestly, like an evergreen outside my window right now. Um, yeah, pine trees, um, maple trees, you know, the odd, I mean, <laughs> the, um, the options are really limitless. So if you have something in the back of your mind, you're like, oh, yeah, doing an oak tree, know it do it go ahead like that's awesome um when I was thinking of this directive I actually thought of a birch tree so that came into my mind so kind of like those classic black white kind of areas stripes and I um I see them around all the time and I really really like them so yeah they kind of inspire me and I'm kind of going with that today <clears throat> so yeah that was a lot of talking um so let's get right into the art without further ado. Um, and again, thinking of like which way you want your tree, I would, I'm going to do it this way. I'm not going to recommend anything because it's, it's your, it's your piece. I'm just going to do this way because that, I want it to be nice and tall. And yeah, just kind of focusing on one right now because we're going to really, you know, do the layers of this tree. So root system and I'm just going to sketch it out you don't have to you can go right in with the paint if that kind of is where you're going today but I kind of want to outline where I'm going so just kind of doing the roots and again not going to be perfect like is there such thing as like a perfect tree I don't know they're all great nice and tall so really think about the root system Just sketching it out. Just 
Okay, I got my roots. And now we're gonna do the trunk. Don't forget your trunk. Okay, mine's like a thicker tree. That's, that's cool. And I'm gonna leave room for the, uh, the branches. So just keep in mind, like, you don't wanna run out of page on your, yeah, you don't wanna run out of some room on the page. <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna just quickly sketch some branches so I know where I'm going when it's time to paint. And maybe they go off the page a little bit. That's cool. It's all good. And I'll, I'll show you like my quick sketch of what I did. Just in a sec. Maybe I want another branch. Okay, I think I've got my branches pretty much sorted out. And here I'll show you. Maybe, nah, it's okay. I was just gonna say, maybe you wanna put like a ground line, totally optional. So here's my tree, quick sketch, you know, what the, how much time did that take me? What, a couple minutes? So, you know, just quick, rough, because you're going to go back in with color and it's, you know, it's going to look a little different. So that's my rough birch tree. <clears throat> now we're going to take the water cup, the paints, the fun part, <laughs> um, and just a paintbrush. And let's see. This one looks good. So, oh, I totally forgot. Oh, before we get into paint, um, I'm just gonna like kind of jot down what keeps me grounded for the roots. Let's just start there. What keeps you grounded and then kind of, you can write it above a root, you know, in the root, below the roots, you know, whatever what kind of layout you want to do. So what keeps me grounded right now? I'm gonna say art, that's, that's a good one. So, just kind of writing above the root. For me, that's what I'm doing. <clears throat> art, what else? Yeah, um, being outside. Um, Making my bed, you know, that's a good one. Uh, Self-care, you know, whatever self-care means. I think it's really helpful for me. Yeah, so maybe I did four things. I feel like that's pretty solid. Um, okay, trunk slash branches, areas of growth. So where are you growing? Um, let's see, maybe I'll spin it for a second. And again, you can write like in the trunk or maybe just on either side of that. Areas of growth, so, so any hobbies you're taking up. I'm gonna say baking. I feel like that's a passion I've been having recently, baking. Uh, what else? I'm 
speaking of like emotions like letting them come up so maybe just in emotional emotional awareness i guess emotional Hmm. What else? I think gratitude. Patience. Okay. Another. I did four again. Um, and then the branches. Um, Sorry, the leaves or the fruit, that's what I meant. Oh my gosh, I don't leave room for the leaves. Okay, gotta draw some leaves on here. And again, that might be fruit for you. Quickly drawing some leaves in. I forgot. Just quickly sketching them in. Okay. And now that I added them, I'm just going to kind of write around where the leaves are. Um, hopes for the future. Mm. Uh. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. What comes to mind is a dog, so I'm just gonna write that down. Dog. And maybe you have room in your leaves to do that. I'm just kind of doing it in that general kind of vicinity up top. Um, hopes for the future. Travel, I think that's a good one. Travel. You know, obviously after obviously after, you know, COVID. Um Yeah, so your future could be in a month, your future could be after COVID. Your future could be tomorrow. Let's see. I'm gonna write apartment. Yeah, and again, I wrote four down, so just remember how many you have is totally cool. I'm just kind of sketching out the parts a little darker. Okay, and I now I think we're ready for paint. I was totally forgot the whole, the whole point. <laughs> I was just so excited about color. <clears throat> okay, so now we have our roots, our trunk, our leaves, our branches. I'm gonna go in with black because if you've ever seen a birch tree, they have those classic kind of black kind of stripes to them. Adding them in. So thinking about what bark, what color your tree is.
then again, I'll say it again, um, there's no right, there's no wrong, you know, you don't have to worry, like, oh my gosh, my tree looks nothing like the tree outside, like, that's totally okay. We're just kind of trying it out, you know? Just getting into that creative kind of mindset and just playing with it. So I'm just adding those black stripes, you know, those areas of that white and the black. It's pretty cool. Birch trees actually have is like it almost looks like a mushroom i think it is a mushroom or a type of fungus or something like that and you can actually drink the tea that comes from these birch tree fungus oh i'm think i'm blanking on the name chaga chaga yeah i think that's what it is I'm not saying to go out and do that. <laughs> you have to be, you know, you have to know what you're actually dealing with in terms of the natural world. You don't want to make a mistake. Because not everything is edible. Okay. That feels good. I did all the stripes I can show you. Ta-da! And now I'm gonna do the root system, which I would think is brown. I don't think I've ever seen a birch root. So we're just gonna imagine, you know? Imagination. Kind of a dark brown going in with it. Who knows what they look like? Because they're underground. <laughs> okay. And then the leaves, I think. Probably should have done some research. Probably should have, <laughs> probably should have done some research on the leaves and the tree in general. But, um,. That's fine. I think they're like yellowy green, like that kind of neon. It's just been so long, long winter, so I don't, I can't remember the leaf colors anymore. So I'm just mixing, well, I guess I'll just tell you what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm mixing some of this like neon green on the other side of my um, palette in the plastic part. I don't know if that's what they're there for, but that's what I do. And then I'm gonna take some yellow and mix it up. So I get this nice yellowy green. And we're going in to do the leaves. This really like neon, neon green, bright 
spray green. And at this point you might be doing, you know, an apple. So thinking of your painting and how kind of following, following along more or less, but how that translates to your own painting and picture. Cool. And I'm just seeing I missed just a branch, so I'm just gonna quickly fill that in. Some black. I really like layering the black too. Maybe giving some dots to it. It's kind of fun. Cool. Okay, what else can we do? I'm thinking I want to do the background, maybe like a nice sky and the ground actually. So I'm just going to do a quick little line where the ground would be. There we go. Just for, you know, reference. Optional. And yeah, I'm going to go in with kind of a darker, let's see if I can make a darker kind of brown than the root. So I'm just taking that dark brown that I did the roots with and I'm going to take some black because that's how I make it a darker color and now it's like this really earthy deep deep brown black color. I'm just kind of filling in between the roots and I've run out so I need to make some more. And totally optional, you know, you don't have to do the ground or the dirt, but I just want to kind of put it in space somewhere. That's pretty cool. That section looks good. I'm gonna do some grass. It's a nice spring day, you know, everything's blooming. Fill in with some of that lighter green. One step up from the leaves. I'm just making some grass. Right on that top line, but I, I drew with a pencil. Okay, and then I'm gonna go in with a bigger brush. So I'll let this one Go to the side. And let's see. I'm gonna take this nice, like, kind of flat one. Filbert. Ooh, okay. <laughs> um, just because it kind of, you know, covers a lot of space. Because there's a lot of uh, brushes. So we're gonna do kind of a light blue sky. I just, like, had that in my mind, so. But maybe yours is, like, in the sunset, maybe it's at night, you know. All the options are available to you. I just thought like light blue.
and I'm trying not to paint right over my words, but guess what? I just did, just to try it, and you can kind of still see them, like, perfectly, so... If you kind of want to paint over the paint, um, the pencil, <laughs> you can still see them, if it's a light enough color. Like, light blue is totally, totally fine. But maybe if I did that in the kind of underground with that dark black brown color, it probably would cover my letters. So something to think about. So kind of just going in, going in between the uh, branches now with that kind of same blue. And I'm getting pretty close to being done. That doesn't mean you have to be close to done. Because you can always come back and work on it or like set it aside, finish it, whatever, you know, whatever you can do. And I'm just gonna like let it sit because obviously, you know, it's still wet. So I'm just gonna kind of let it sit and dry so that when I close the page, it doesn't, you know, just smudge into the other side of the page. So it's, I would recommend just kind of leaving it flat for a little bit, letting it dry. And it should be drying, you know, really, really quickly. Okay, that looks pretty cool. And then I'm just gonna go in and wash my brush off, very important. And I'm just gonna go ahead with my pen. I can close this up. And I can see where it's wet still, and I don't wanna work there because I know this pen will bleed like right into that. And that won't, that's not the look I'm going for. So, um, yeah, just gonna darken my words in the ground so I can kind of see them better. Because I know it's, it's dry down there now. And I just thought of something that grounds me, so I'm gonna pop it in and, you know, you can too. If that feels like something you wanna do. Okay, and I'm just going to go in and kind of go into those parts of the tree where it's those black kind of stripes, just for fun, just kind of scribbling.
You can definitely go back and you know add some little details that you want to put in there. Now I'm just kind of sketching over that pencil for the branches, just because I want to. Don't feel that you have to, just because I am. And we're honestly getting so close to the end. So if you feel like you're at an almost good stopping point, awesome. If not, no worries. You know, you can always come back to it. And I'll definitely give you a little zoom in of my eyepiece, just in a sec. And I'm done. Just looking at it. I think I'll do the roots really quick. Or maybe do I want to? Yeah, I guess. Making some lines. <laughs> okay. Um, and it looks like it's drying up really nicely, so I think I'll go ahead and um, go in on the other words and kind of darken them with my pen. But other than that, I'm pretty much done. Um, yeah, I'm just going to do that. And I can go ahead and show you because I'm finished. So here we go. I'll come to you. How about that? So here we are. My tree. Let's start with the roots. It says, um, you know, what keeps me grounded are being outside, FaceTime call, self-care, making my bed, and some grass. And then the trunk is right here and you know these were the areas of growth for me so gratitude baking patience emotional awareness going right up and then we have the treetop and the branches and leaves and this was hopes for the future so i said you know a dog travel apartment different things like that so yeah here it is in its entirety oops ta-da So I hope you enjoy that a little directive. Um, yeah, let me know and um, yeah, I think that's that sums it up. <laughs> um, yeah, so thank you for hanging out with me today and trying something, something new, um, art therapy directive. Um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with how mine turned out, and I think it's so cool that, um, you know, art can tell you things that you, you know, just sitting on the couch wouldn't even think of. So, yeah, 
and really tapping into, you know, when you feel really untethered and in those moments of uncertainty, like you can go back to the root system and say, oh yeah, being outside really grounds me. I'm gonna go for a walk, you know? So use this as much as you need to. Um, yeah, and you know, in, t in low times when you're feeling sad, maybe feeling not really self-confident, you can go, oh yeah, these are my areas of growth. Yeah, I am baking and that's new and that's fun. And I'm actually, you know, people actually eat what I bake. <laughs> um, I am cultivating more patience and that's really awesome. So yeah, and then obviously the tree top, the leaves, stuff to look forward to. So, you know, there's always hope for the future and a day is only 24 hours long. So there's always tomorrow. Um, yeah, so I hope this, you know, helped brought some clarity, organized some things in your mind, brought some things to light. And yeah, that's, that's really the beauty of art therapy. Um, yeah, so thank you. And yeah, I hope you have a good day, evening, night. Thanks. Bye. <laughs>